that. Yes, folks, hello. I'm, of course, the Black Shadow in uh, playing around with Lin-Win with my swanky new US gear. And, yes, thank goodness we're finally getting on with it, folks. Resident Evil Revelations 2, my blind run of the game, looks like it's going to be starting tomorrow night. Um, having now finished our organ trail run uh, yesterday, um, which ended in kind of bizarre circumstances, I'm going to be honest. But um, it was a really cracking uh, game. So glad to have LP'd. I got a couple rounds out of that. Thank you for everyone who got involved in the LP. Uh, apologies to a couple who unfortunately didn't make it into the two runs. Um, but there's not much I could do about that. It was random chance out of a hat. Um, but certainly thanks to everyone who uh, got involved. Um, those people who got involved, especially into the, the sort of the characters and the comments into that, was all really great stuff. Um, and made it a very, very enjoyable. Um, but yes, yeah, so now that that's done... Um, and that LP was kind of a bit of a stopgap, basically, um, for me to sort things out here. Um, we can now finally crack on Revelations 2. And as I say, that will be looking to start tomorrow night, folks. Uh, I've already recorded the first few videos for the LP. I've not recorded too deep into it, because I am kind of looking for a bit of feedback on the video, just making sure everything kind of seems fine, um, as good as they could be. It's been a while since I've recorded on my HD recorder that I use for that sort of thing. Um... So hopefully it all looks pretty okay. Um, I also, there are a couple points in the LP. I kind of need a little bit of advice and almost some guidance on how exactly to um, best to actually run the LP. Because you've got, on one hand, you've got the, um, the actual main campaign of the game. And on the other, you've got the raid mode. Now, when I played this uh, the original Revelations, of course, I did the entire campaign. And then did the whole raid mode afterwards. Raid mode's a lot more complex and in-depth and longer than it was last time, so I'm not really too sure how best to touch that. Um, so, a few more details on that during the LP and questions and any opinions people have got, I would be very much appreciated on that. Um, but I say, yeah, no, it's been really good. Um, our first couple of videos, uh, I think, were absolutely fantastic. Um, and it is kind of a big moment for me, really, um, considering that when, when we started this channel... Um, six and a half years ago now which is really frightening which i started actually in this very room um and then we did Res uh, resident evil director's cut and since then we've done like a dozen re games or something ridiculous we've played all sorts of games we've redone some a couple of blind ones as well with zero and remake originally uh, dead aim of course very recently um but i've always kind of had a, a, an idea of what the the overarching story is of course, I don't know that anymore. Um, I've intentionally not looked into any of these games for years. I mean, Res Revelation 2 came out in, like, 2015. And I've deliberately not touched any of the story so I could do this blind. Um, you know, it's you only get one opportunity to do a game blind, folks. It's as simple as that. And I made sure uh, for the channel I thought it was only fair to do that. Uh, it gives me an opportunity as well to kind of critique and review the game as I play it. And without going into too much detail... I think so far it kind of comes across as a much more polished game than Revelations 1 was. Um, Rev 1 had a few kind of minor details that kind of stuck out a bit. It just felt like they could have put a bit more effort into it. Whereas Revelations 2 certainly feels a bit more polished. But I haven't gone too far deep into the game yet. Um, and it is possible I am being, my judgment is being clouded by A. Claire and B. Barry. It's very possible that that is exactly what is happening. But we'll see as the game progresses. Anyways, um, but that's not the only part I wanted to actually mention of the video, folks. Um, as much as it's great to be actually getting with the LP, I don't want to be just doing Revelations 2 for the next couple of months or so. Um, I am actually interested in doing another LP at the same time. Um, and uh, this goes back to another title I actually purchased back in the Steam sale when I got hold of the Organ Trail. Um, and I purchased this um, alongside it. It was an LP I originally mentioned back in... When was it? It must have been like the spring of summer of last year. Um, it was the back end of Crash Bandicoot 2, actually. We were doing some extra digging around for some extra stuff. I was trying to 100% the game. Um, and I actually float this LP around um, as a potential. Um, the LP, it's, the game itself is about like... Must be about the best part of 20 years old now, something like that. Um, by a uh, an old, old company. I believe they were known as Black Isle Studios. And for, uh, hopefully I get that right. I forgot to check. And uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, 
I am, of course, mentioning about the original Fallout game, um, circa, like, late 1990s, I think, or maybe very early 2000s. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, the original two games of the Fallout series were incredibly different to what we're used to now with Bethesda's take on it from Fallout 3 and beyond. Um, the original two games were, like, proper old-school kind of RPG-ish um, you know, we're talking like sort of like isotropic fields. Um, you know, incredibly, incredibly different to what we know it is now. Now today, um, that's not a bad thing either. I still think the games were fantastic to play. Uh, and whilst I've never physically got my hands on the original Fallout games, um, I have seen very, very bleh, teeth back in various bits and pieces um, of the games. I've always been interested to play them. Hence why I bought it alongside the Steam sale. Hence why I mentioned it back in the middle of last year. Um, and if you've never seen an original, the original Fallout game, you really ought to check it out. Um, I think it should be an absolutely fantastic LP. Um, you know, it, it's um, a lot of entertainment. Um, you know, still as wacky as ever. Um, and as I say, I've never played the game as such, but I've got some kind of understanding of the game system. There's still some varying... Um, familiar concepts you know, with the special system, um, you know, and the, just the general environment of things. How the game actually plays out is very different, however. Um, and if you've not seen it before, please, please, please check it out. I think you should have a fantastic time. Um, I get to have a little bit of fun of that as well, because I get to, you know, create a character for that, uh, who I'm going to kind of base sort of on what makes logical sense, uh, but we'll have a play around with that as we go. So, basically my plan is Revelation 2 will be starting tomorrow night. I've recorded, I believe, six videos so far um, in the in, a, in a, over a couple of sessions. Uh, no, no more, just to get some feedback on that. And then probably about this time next week, um, I'm hoping to get started with uploading um, some Fallout. Um, and we're going to run along with that. And I'm looking to run with both of those LPs for now. Um, Fallout is not going to be a short LP, by the way, folks. It could be a while, but that's okay. I like the idea of having a longer project to run with. Um, and it should be fantastic. Only thing I'm just going to quickly throw out, though. Um, whilst I do hope to keep videos going up at like, about one a day, um, I must warn there may be the occasional time there may not be a video, uh, which is kind of slightly out of my control at the moment. Um, whilst I've mentioned this in one or two videos before, uh, where I am at the moment, uh, currently um, in access is not ideal. Um, the actual speeds are pretty slow, um, and whilst I'm attempting to get that changed, there's a couple of problems prohibiting this. Um, while it might not seem very important to you, basically what it would mean for Kate's at is that like the first video of Revelations, um, which was like 37 minutes of whatever it was, it took me about 10 hours to upload that which is ridiculous um, and whilst I'm obviously playing all sorts of things I'm keeping things ahead of schedule as much as I physically can my fear is is that that is unfortunately going to cause some delays perhaps of a day or two here and there um, and I will be doing my damnedest to avoid that um, but you're always keeping track on my uh, Twitter account which is the links down that way um, and if there's any other delays in the video, I don't think something's going up. I will post on there and say, not going to be anything up today. It should be up tomorrow. So that's a good way to keep track of things um, in my Twitter. Uh, please, by all means, please keep an eye on that uh, for a handy news update. Really useful for me. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for now. Um, I can't think of anything much else to rattle along with. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Revelation 2 to start tomorrow. Um, Fallout 1 to start hopefully this time next week and eventually I'll stop flapping yay me yay I I, I don't know why I do that I'm, I'm sad <laughs> no I'm not sad folks I'm actually pretty cheerful uh, yeah so I'll see you guys next time so thank you for watching and uh, yeah I'll see you in hell <laughs>